In this video, we're going to be looking at creating ourselves a custom mouse cursor using Adobe Animate or Flash. Basically, you can draw whatever picture you like and turn it into a simple mouse cursor, a bit like this purple arrow that I have drawn in this example. So I'm going to do two different mouse cursors today and show you how they work in Flash. So let's load up Flash or Animate now and make yourself an ActionScript 3.0 file. Once you've got your stage on the screen, I want you to go to your view menu and load up your rulers. I just want you to drag on one ruler from the left and one ruler from the top and just have them intersect roughly in the middle of the page. It doesn't have to be the middle though, as long as they intersect somewhere. Now what we're going to do is draw an arrow. I guess one of the quickest ways to draw an arrow is grab your rectangle tool over here and choose yourself a fill color. Make sure your stroke is turned off. I'm just going to zoom in a bit here around the intersection and I'm simply going to draw myself bit of a rectangle that goes evenly over that center ruler. So you should have the same amount of purple on either side of that ruler. We're going to do the same again just below it. Okay, we're going to draw something that looks I guess a bit like that. So it's a funny looking T-shape at the moment. I'm going to then grab your black arrow and just drag those rulers off the page so they disappear and you'll be left with this shape. Now what we're going to do is grab the top left hand corner of this t-shape with our black arrow and drag it in towards the center and then we'll do the same on the other side okay I guess you could have left your rulers there to make that a bit easier but anyway I got rid of those uh, that's looking pretty good it's a little bit long I feel in the base so I'm just going to highlight the base of that and press delete and we've now got a little purple arrow I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to zoom back out here just choose fit in window it's not a bad size for our mouse cursor. So to convert it into a mouse cursor, I'm just going to highlight that shape so it's all selected. Go up to modify and convert it to a symbol. Now the shape of my arrow has the clicking point in the very center up here. So I want to make sure my registration point is the top middle one there. Okay, so I've got that top middle registration point selected. I'll give it a name and I'll just call it arrow leave it as a movie clip so the important thing here is to have registration set on that middle point and we'll click OK alrighty so we've now got our mouse cursor converted into a movie clip the next thing we need to do is give it an instance name in our properties box here so just call it arrow again and now we're ready to put some code on it okay you don't have to write the code flush is going to do that for us so up to your window menu and we're going to look for your code snippets panel Inside of Code Snippets, open up the Action Script folder and go to Actions and select the second option there that says Custom Mouse Cursor. So just double click on it. Flash writes the code for you. Okay, you don't even have to understand what it means, but basically it's hiding your original mouse cursor and putting on this new one called Arrow. Alrighty, that's it. So press Control Enter to publish your app and test it, uh, publish your animation and test it out. When you move your mouse cursor around in this box, you should see that the arrow starts moving. Simple as that. What I'm going to do is just show you one more type of mouse cursor that you can do. It's like the crosshair one that you would see through like a sniper rifle or something like that. This time I'm going to use the oval tool to draw this shape. Again, I might bring up my rulers as well to help me with this. So I'm just going to do another intersection on the page and I'm going to choose a black stroke and no fill color for my mouse cursor this time now starting on that middle point where the lines intersect there I'm going to hold the alt key and start dragging out you can hold shift at the same time as well to get the perfect circle basically you're looking for a circle that looks something like that grab your line tool next and still with the black stroke you're simply just going to draw a black line that goes down the ruler there and another black line that goes horizontally across. Alright, grab your black arrow and just scrap those rulers, so drag them off the page. We've now got a little crosshair. We're going to use this as our mouse cursor. So I'll zoom out now. I'm going to highlight that mouse cursor and go up to the modify menu and convert it to a symbol. I'll give it the name crosshair and make sure it's a movie clip. Now this time we're going to change our registration points. Okay, if I was to click on something with this, I'd expect the clicking point to be right in the center of that crosshair. So I'm going to change the registration here to the very center of that little square and click OK. OK, 
Okay, so we've now got a cross there that has been converted into a symbol. We'll give it the instance name up the top here called Crosshair. And it's a simple job of putting the code snippet onto it. So open up your code snippet panel, open up the actions folder and find the custom mouse cursor code and double click on it. That puts in the code again, so Flash will write the code for you. You can press Control Enter to test it, and you've now got a crosshair as your mouse cursor. It's a pretty cool technique, really simple to do. Make sure you go to File and Save As and save that into your account somewhere. Okay, that's it. See you in the next tutorial.